Hey guys, Sean G. Phillips here and I'm out in Seattle now and I'm at a video place that I've always wanted to go to and I've heard about this a whole lot, Scarecrow Video. Yes, I'm going to go in there. I'm here with actually with someone who's actually along too, Tim Carpenter, because I'm actually here working on your movie, acting your film, Mr. Bleachers. That's right. And you've never been in this place before. Never been in. Uh, but I've seen this place on a lot of those like documentaries about like VHS collecting and all that kind of stuff. And I know they have like VHS to rent in here. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a huge selection of stuff. Mm -hmm. So you ready to head on inside and I see what ready. we see? Let's do it. All right, and there may be music, so it may all be dubbed over later, me talking. <laughs> so fingers crossed that there's nothing in there playing, but we'll see. It may be all ADR later. But into Scarecrow video, we go. And they have in here in the window like an old like laser disc for the last Boy Scout. They're real like sun drenched here. And then like a um, bunch of like posters and stuff like that. But. Like I was saying though, inside of here, they have all kind of like um, VHS tips over here to rent and posters on the wall, but we're gonna head on inside and see, you know, I don't know how much stuff is for sale in there, but we'll see if there's anything for sale. But yeah, this is one place I've always wanted to go into. Oh yeah, so right here is all used VHS for sale. I don't know how much all this stuff is, it's all individually marked, like all the King's horses here. Yeah, so like all this stuff here is all the VHS for sale. I still have a VHS player, but the problem is like I had since, since I got the newer TV, the 4K TV, I haven't been able to figure out how to like set it up. Because you have to have like a certain type of thing to get it to work. What is this one here? This John Ritter one, the comeback kid. I don't know if there's some obscure ones in here that you don't come across a lot. Yeah. I don't think I've I don't think I've ever actually seen this movie. I don't even know if this one is on uh, DVD or Blu-ray. Like I said, I, oh, anytime it's like a real obscure stuff, it's cool to see, like especially horror ones in here. I always remember this too, the Lost World VHS here that had this like lenticular cover that changed between it. Yeah, some of this, yeah, this one's $3.99 here, so there are some more expensive ones like kind of mixed in in here. I think these ones here are all for sale as well. And here's a bunch of kids ones here. Stranger in Time. Yeah, luckily enough, it doesn't seem like they're playing any music. It's just like they're playing like a movie. This one here, ABC Kid Time. This is like PJ Funny Bunny. That's kind of interesting. I, I, I remember this like ABC Kid Time thing. When was this from? Like 1980, 1991. So I remember when that thing was on. And this is the one, this movie, and I remember this cover so well. As a kid, the trailer for this movie creeped me out so much. And I don't know why. Like I, Every time I saw that trailer as a kid, I think it was on the tape for like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure or something like that. I remember it creeped me out so bad. I hated the trailer for that movie. I don't know what it was about it. It always really, really got to me. It just seemed like it was for a horror movie or something, even though it wasn't. There's another weird one here, Miss Bear. What is this one from, like, 97? Yeah, there definitely are some obscure tapes. This is, a, this is the area, too. Danny Sinnerstalker would love all this stuff. But let me see, too, like, what other stuff is for rent in here. Oh, yeah, these are all for sale here as well. Yeah, so they, yeah, so these are all, so there definitely is a lot for sale. That's cool, because I wasn't sure if there was going to be, like, only rental or if there was going to be, like, a decent amount of for sale. But, yeah, there definitely seems to be a really large selection. I was saying that there's definitely actually a lot of stuff for sale in here. I wasn't sure if there was going to be, but all this stuff is all, all for sale. And there's a whole big uh, Criterion section over here. There's a, definitely a lot of different stuff. Yeah, so these are, this, this one here, is that the whack? I think this is the one that um, Vinegar Syndrome released. It's like a UK release for this. This is a really crazy, like, spoof film here. This is like one of the first, um, who was, who was in this one? Um, I forget who was like their first movie in that one, but that was a pretty fun, really goofy movie. But Vinegar Syndrome released that one recently on Blu-ray. Yeah, so it seems like everything in here is all kind of different prices from what I can tell. Is this one Slasher 101? This one here. This is one of those ones I remember buying a long time ago and never watched this one. I don't know why I never watched that. I have to see though anything if there's anything out of print but it seems like they might know some of the things that are out of print because there's some stuff that's more money like this really wild animals is like 14.99 
I wonder if in here too for rent, if they have like any super obscure stuff like um like the midnight hour. That's one thing I'm kind of want to look is to see if they have like for rental rental wise any super obscure stuff. But they have like this is a cool one here. This Liquid Sky. This is a Vinegarson release. This is one of these movies that um the one main actress from Alice Sweet Alice. I think this was the like the only other movie she ever did, and she did this movie like a number of years after Alice Sweet Alice. It's funny though, like mixed in here, there's a lot of different like, um, you know, like UK versions of things. Like there's a UK version here of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season six here. That's kind of cool to see these ones in person. I saw like some other UK ones. I saw like um, extras. Like, yeah, like um, this is like, I think the special, like the one that was after season two. This is a show that I always really liked. It's kind of like you don't hear about this one too often. And it was such a fun, you know, show with Ricky Gervais that was on HBO. See any American horror stories up here? I want to see too if they have like um, unsolved mysteries in here. That I feel like those ones would be like in the rental section. See if they have like I was saying. I want to try and come across any of the like super obscure stuff and see if they have any of that kind of stuff to rent in here. Yeah, but like I said, though, pretty much just looking all around here and seeing anything interesting I come across. But like I said, they have a huge, really great selection here of Criterion things all mixed in here. And I have come across some kind of more obscure, out-of-print stuff. Like I, I, this one thing here was kind of interesting. This Barnum thing. I think it's like some kind of a, uh, like a production of like Barnum and Bailey or something like that. I know in here, too, it's like uh, two floors. So I want to look through here. Like I said, I wanted to see like any out of print stuff, even if it's just rental wise, I want to see like kind of what kind of stuff they have. And they do have like some t-shirts and stuff like that for sale in here as well. And one thing that's cool about this place is they rent like, uh, you know, really obscure releases of stuff. Like they have like Scorpion releases here, like they rent like a uh, Curse 3 here. And I saw a couple other ones in here, like um, they have a bunch of like, um, they have a uh, Book of Monsters here, which is like a, you know, a Dread Presents release here. And then with some of the other ones, they have like, you can actually rent Arrow Video titles in here. Like I was just mentioning Alice Sweet Alice. They have that one in here to rent. So that's really cool to see that. This is all their new release section here. Like I was saying though, it's um, two floors. So up here is like, where it's all separated into different kind of sections. So like this is like the Jonathan Demme's. Like this, I think this is all like by directors here. And then back here is kind of like um, the new releases area. Yeah, so it's all in different kind of sections. So I'm gonna, like I said, try and look for any out of print stuff. But they have like cult epics titles, you know, cult, you know, uh, epics releases. So like a, that's really cool to see a lot of the small, smaller companies and things like that actually to actually be able to get these in store. Like they have, um, here's another one of the uh, Vinegar Center releases here for Play Dead. And this area is like new to the collection or something. So this is like new things they have, have in here, like VHS is like Animorphs. And this is something, this isn't for sale though, but this is pretty cool. This Chuck E. Cheese, like Galaxy 5000 thing. This is from 1999, some kind of a Chuck E. Cheese thing. But that's cool, they have uh, a Chris Seaver movie here, Destruction Kings. That's really cool. And there's a lot of like, um, you know, indie horrors and stuff here, like Die Die Delta Pi. And they actually have, you can come here and rent me. You can rent Girls Gone Dead in here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You can rent, you know, Cool Duder here in Girls Gone Dead. So that's cool. And that's actually out of print now. So that's kind of hard to come across. And see, like, in the sections, though, like, mixed in with, like, the, the kids' section, they have, like, the obscure kind of stuff that isn't available on Blu-ray, like, Hambone and Hill, like, some kind of a dog movie. I don't know anything about that movie. And I saw, like, um, like, the Great Space Coaster Super Show, like, these, this old big box tape. That's so cool, like, some of these things in here. Like, I wish these ones for, for this was for sale. This is, like, a really obscure thing. I wonder if they have like Zoobly Zoo tapes in here to rent. And this one I was looking at, Goldie and Kids, some kind of like Goldie Hawn thing that she did. Like I don't know, this is the stuff I love to see, the VHS ones in here. Let's see other ones like Adventures, Adventures of, An Island of Adventure. This is another one of these ones I probably rented as a kid and like forgot the name of. Because that's one thing, I don't know if any of you guys had the same situation when you were a kid, like renting stuff in like um, Blockbuster and then like liking it and renting it all the time and then like not like now trying to remember what they were. The Last Train Home. It's like a high tops tape here. The Land of Pleasant Dreams. There's some super obscure tapes in here. In here, let's see, Leaping Leprechauns. 
this one I know this is an obscure one. I don't think I think this yeah this is a Moonbeam movie. Uh, hopefully that one. I hope Moonbeam keeps putting out stuff onto Blu-ray. Grizzly Adams, The Little Magician here. Oh, this is definitely definitely something that I rented as a kid. This is really cool. Yeah, what what year was this from? And now this is definitely this is so cool to to actually look in this section. The kid with the 200 IQ. See any other ones? Yeah, I had to look through all these. Pup, mu puppet class musical. Fill up the small. Let me know in the comments below though if you, any of you guys remember any of these ones. Pit Pony. Pollyanna. Pollyanna. Yeah, see Prehysteria 2. That's really cool. I, like, like I said, hopefully that gets a Blu ray release. The Pumpkin Man. Yeah, that's cool. That purple People Eater. This is another one. I remember this as a kid. The Quest Rainbow Bright here. This is the one. Yeah, I actually have this one. Rainbow Bright goes to the San Diego Zoo. I found that one. It was a cut box, so it wasn't in the actual original box. Scout's Honor here. Some Gary Coleman movie? Gary Coleman movie? I don't remember that at all. Let's see, what's this? Saltwater Moose? Runner Runnery Ralph. Rain and the Roses. Rookie of the Year with Jodie Foster. Wow, there's some really like Robert Robert Rubber Tarzan. Snow White and the Red Roses. Tuck Everlasting here. Yeah, pretty much. I'm, I'm pretty sure every one of these ones that I'm finding here. Slapstuck Studios. Pretty sure all these ones are ones that have never come to DVD or anything. Seven Dwarfs to the Rescue. It's this one here. A Magic Star Traveler Volume 1. I don't know what that is. The Lone Wolf. That one I showed. This is the Monster Show. See, that, that's what's so cool about this place. Is I haven't been anywhere to actually see any of these kind of tapes ever. And if like you ever come across these like in a you know, used place. You're, these are ones you never will come across. Nutcase? What in the world is this movie? The Three Warriors. Let's see if there's any other kid ones here. You know, see, here's Disney Animation. They actually happen here to rent the Disney Treasures, the tins here. So, yes, these are all the Disney Treasure tins in here and here's some Disney ones too like the Walt Disney comedy magic revenue these are cool yeah I think I wonderful you think these are part of the wonderful world of Disney yeah so this is cool to see these Disney ones diamonds on wheels you know Disney ones that have never been released on blu-ray or anything chips the warrior dogs the girl who spelled freedom so yeah there's some cool stuff in here snow white and the snow white live or radio city hall musical thing that's cool in here though is like all the like animated type stuff in here like potato head kids this is one as a kid i have this tape i loved potato head kids i don't even know how long this show went but i remember like watching that like crazy. Here's another movie. This is one of those ones that I couldn't remember the name of it for years. Journey to Spirit Island. This is one of those ones that I watched and rented so many times. And only maybe like 10 years ago, I finally remember the name of it. That and there's another movie with the same, very similar title called George's Island that I always really liked. But in here though, I wonder if they, had, like I was saying, if they had like um, Zoobly Zoo is one to see, you know, in person, tapes of that, or like The Popples. That was another one that I watched and you know rented all the time and my favorite of the popples was the live action one if you guys ever remember that one that was one of those ones that i watched all the time i feel like that would be somewhere around here but i know the zoobly zoo ones are super rare and they even have in here like the snick tapes these ones i had all these ones and they have in here to rent the um you know the canadian releases of afraid of the dark so those are pretty cool to have them, you know, they, these ones, they have like Burn Demand ones that are on Amazon, but these were the original, you know, Canadian release ones of those ones. But like I said, it's, you know, two floors, so I'm upstairs now 
he's a look you know looking down at all the stuff and these are all like I guess these are like tapes they have here that are in like um like flat boxes or something like that and they have them like they find them out of the back or something like that but they just kind of go into all these different corners I think this is all anime over this area non children's animation but like within all these areas they have like ones where if they're not available like I was saying on uh, DVD or Blu-ray they have the VHS's of them still in here so that's such a cool thing that they you know have the tape still so you can no matter what a lot of this stuff you know still find it views and butted here I wonder if they have now oh, here it is here's this one the rental by approval only. This is the history of Beavis and Butthead. This is the one, if any of you guys remember this, this got pulled from release and it was one of those ones I always wanted to find the real one of. And I remember like there was this um, Saturday Night Night that I used to go to that, you, that I remember they put it out by mistake and if I would have been in there like the day before I've been able to get this but I've never actually seen in person a real copy of the history views and butthead so that is so cool that you can see that in here but you have to have approval only to rent it because this is super super rare only a few copies of that one got out but there's some really obscure stuff in here like Bob and Margaret the complete second season here this is another show really love that show I think this is a Canadian release that one but like I said all mixed in here are different things that are only available on uh, you know VHS and they have all the tapes let's see what other sections we have in here over here is like music this is all like uh, rock music in here and so this is like yeah I think this is like musicals in here I think some kind of musicals let's see and it, uh, it all goes into all these different types of rooms this is um, like spies all like spy movies in here like so like Alice Alice here and a lot of like a lot of ones where they only have that one you know only available on tape and like all spy TV series in here so a lot, a lot of like UK spy TV series so it's this is like definitely the place where if you can't find it you know there's like nothing like I've, like I said I haven't been in a, a video in a place like this ever especially that has like this type of and and to actually see these big boxes in here which is so cool dear detective because these ones you know the tape boxes are usually totally lost and a lot of rental stores would have taken them out and or cut the boxes down and stuff in here now is like uh, murder mysteries so this is all like the murder mystery movies in here love kills yeah that's why my favorite stuff like I said is to look at the tape ones the ones that were never you know are not out yet to see this is a cover. I, I have not seen this cover forever, but I remember this in you know the video rental, like in Blockbuster, seeing this tape. This is another one of those tapes that always creeped me out as a kid, and kind of look like um, it's kind of look like um, like a like a strange signs of lamb kind of movie. But I always remember that cover. Some more big box tapes in here, and they even have like a. Food Network section, like all food related stuff in here, like America's Test Kitchen, Bizarre Foods, uh, Cake Boss in here, the Gordon Ramsay Show, The F Word, and like documentaries on food, uh, Diners, Drivings, and Dives. These are the ones when Food Network was releasing these ones. And I wish they were still, these things still came out. This is like the early uh, guy, you know, um, Kitchen Impossible one, because then that became Restaurant Impossible, you know, a couple years after that one. Good Eats in here, but this is cool to see all these food ones, and like some of these ones are really obscure, like Unwrapped. That was one, one of the later ones. Throwdown with Bobby Flay. I don't know, I, I love all that kind of stuff, and especially because they don't really release uh, food shows anymore on TV. Like a lot of those kind of shows don't come out at all on DVD. Some of them come out now as like Burn to Man releases, but they're kind of more and more obscure to get for those to actually get uh, physical releases anymore. But here's a little look too down at this section. Like I said, it's all down here. Over here is like. Um, it's all kind of like NCIS, like NYPD, and those kind of things over here. I think it, I think this is like the, oh, it says bang section, so it's kind of like the action section. Let's see what's in here, local plays. So this is like, I guess these are like local, like movies that are take place out here, or they're actually something like that, I guess. There's so many different sections in here. Experimental. Movies over here, Hollywood Babylon, 
star bloopers. So this is like dance, all kind of dance films over here, uh, shorts. So it's probably like Spike and Mike and something weird and some of those kind of things over here. And then like cinema history. So like, it's really cool how it's in all these different kind of sections and all like sectioned out like this of what the type of things are. You could make like so many different videos in here showing all this different stuff. Over here is like, um, like uh, you know, um, kung fu films over here. And they even have some like wizard video big box here. But those are really obscure to see. Westerns over here, war. drama section I haven't seen the horror section that's what I'm trying to find is where like the main horror section is and this is like drama television yeah somewhere I, unless I totally missed the horror section because I feel like there's would definitely be a horror section maybe that's back this way oh comedy's back here so here's like the comedy so it's like all the TV comedy is in here yeah, so this so this is all comedy TV. I have to think about, I'm trying to think about any any like out of print stuff to look at to see in here. Because in horror though, it's a couple things. This is on like version high. There's so many obscure ones in here. TV wise, what's this po po poison ivy one here? Back in it, no, packing it in. I, I've never seen that one. Another big box tape here, pajama tops. Yeah, I found the horror section here. This is where I want to see. They have David Sterling's Hell's Highway in there. This is where I want to see the tapes here. This one here, the jar. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I know I've heard of that. Jaws of Satan. But like I said, in here, I want to see if they have the midnight hour. Here's another big box here, Fear Maker. But it's so cool, like I said, they have a lot of, like, the Mondo Macabro ones. So, like, you know, smaller company releases and stuff like that they have in here. They have John McBride's uh, Cannibal Camp Out, which is a great movie. Beyond Darkness. Is this one here? Ceremony. The Cellar. There's another one. That's a, a really obscure one. Boogeyman 2. Yeah, this is all the zombies. So Midnight Hour might be mixed in there. Let's see if that would be like Midnight Scream Show. I've never actually seen the Midnight Hour uh, DVD or tape or anything in person. It's this one here, Mirrors. Crepes. Night of the Howling Beasts. A st uh, straight jacket here. Ghost Dance. Evil Spirits. I, oh, another one that would be kind of cool to see in person here is Summer Camp Nightmare, which is one of those ones which I cannot believe has never gotten a uh, Blu-ray release or DVD release or anything. It's like totally like no one's ever released it. What's this one here? The American Scream. This is a cool looking one. This is a movie from 1989. This one here, uh, Appointment with Fear. Like I said, I love seeing these tapes, especially because I know the way it's like this one, you know, if you see the actual tape, you know it's something that's not been released. Here's one here, uh, Rest in Peace. Never seen this one. There's like a, like a Norman Bates kind of thing on the back, like you know, Norman Bates' mother kind of corpse. That's really cool. Phantom, Phantom, Phantom Brother. Don't know that one at all. She Waits. Scared stiff. Yeah, I'm so glad I got to come here. Like I really, this is one of the places I really wanted to see. What's this one here? Cards of Death. Look at this cover. 
Oh, this is a bleeding skull. So that's a newer, newer one. They have even have some of those kind of ones that are newer released to VHS. House of Death here. This one is a really obscure release. This one, Last House on Dead End Street. But I think the this movie was uh, Vinegar Syndrome put that movie as like a hidden feature on one of their releases. Like it wasn't like the best picture quality because I know they're gonna at some point release that. But I remember they had that on one of those. Let's see what this section is. Back here, under the dome, Stephen King's World of Horror. What is this one here? I've never seen that. Something like, I guess Stephen King, like, presents it? Let me know if you know you guys know this one in the comments below. This I guess this is all Stephen King's stuff in here. Stephen King's The um, Night Shift Collection. I don't know this. Night, this is 40 minutes long. I totally don't know that one at all. Neon City. Oh, so these are all like post-apocalyptic ones here. Alligator 2. Trying to give, you know, like a, like a decent look at all the kind of stuff here. Uh, Birds. Birds 2. Fangs. It's like a cool snake one, like a killer snake movie here. Might have seen that one though. I don't know though. I know there's, there's a couple different killer snake movies. This is all, uh, you know, uh, Bigfoot movies here, like the worm eaters. That movie's always always like grosses me out, like them because they're putting those worms in their mouth and everything. So this is all Bigfoot stuff. And this is like. Um, you know, uh, Christ exploitation films, and then here's like science fiction ones over here, fantasy. So it's like Dragon World. This is another one. It was a um, Moonbeam title, which hopefully this one gets a DVD or Blu-ray release. And I remember too, I used to mix this one up because this is the one I liked. I really liked watching as a kid. But then I mixed it up with um, these Dragon Hearts, and I don't. And they were more like serious. And I remember like as a kid when I think I saw this one or years later or something and I thought that I was seeing that and I was really disappointed but there was sequels to Dragon World which I forgot about that the legend continues and yeah I did not remember that they made a you know a sequel to that one for some reason I totally forgot about that Trouble with Dick, that one there. This one, I know Vinegar Syndrome is releasing this one, Tammy the T-Rex, and they're gonna be releasing it in an R-rated cut. I think, I think it's gonna come out Black Friday, I saw. And these are like Japanese uh, sci-fi horror ones here, and the, the section here of all Hammer Horror. And here's like a big box Elvira here for for the movie, I get that, for the movie here, Cyclops. And I remember these tapes as a kid, like seeing these ones. I, I said, I haven't seen half of these tapes in person if, since I was like, you know, since Blockbuster had them. You know, Blockbuster, you know, is all totally gone. But, and then, like, like I said, it's all in sections. Here's demons, all like demons type movies in here. Yeah, so such a cool place though. Like I said, really glad got to come in here to see all this stuff. Well, that was just a little look in there. I know I tried to show like a little bit of all the kind of stuff you came across and showed a lot of the VHS tapes and stuff that's not on DVD or Blu-ray, but definitely a cool place. If you guys are in the area, definitely check it out. And if you guys live here and don't know about it, it's a, it seems like a really great place to rent some really obscure stuff. So yes, thanks guys so much for watching, subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.